Hopefully, by this point, I've convinced you that implementation intentions are powerful and that you should form them in at once in order to stick to your goals and take action that are actually going to help you reaching your goals. In this lecture, I'm going to give you a plan for making your plan. I'm going to walk through a few step-by-step -step instructions that will help you create implementation intentions that are actually going to work for you. You want to do this in a smart way because if you just say, yeah, I'm going to eat more food, I don't know what would be your intention. But if that's your goal, or if that's the intention you are forming, it's probably not going to help very much because it doesn't meet all the standards of what makes an effective implementation intention. So in this lecture, we will go through that step-by-step -step process. So step one is to clarify your goal. What is your goal? This goal could be any number of things. In this course, we are focused on weight loss, nutrition diet, and fitness. But you know, these things will help for any kind of goal. It helps people quit smoking. It helps people take their vitamins every morning. All of this kind of stuff is applicable to a broad range of things. But think about for you, what's your goal in taking this course? Step two, then is to decide what specific action will help you meet that goal. Now it's likely that there are a lot of specific actions that can all contribute to your goal. But you are going to take a one by one approach where you are going to start of making one or two implementation intentions until you get very good at taking action in response to them. And then you can go back and create more. But think about one specific action that will help you meet your general goal. Then ask yourself, when would you be able to take that action? When is it most likely that you can actually do the thing that's going to help you reach your goals and understand what that context looks like. And relatedly, step three, be what else might prompt you to take that action. What else in the environment, in your own mind, could create an opportunity for you to take action. This will become a little clearer when we talk through an example. But the idea remains that what you are trying to do is identify what action you will take that will help you meet your goal and how you will know when to take it. And you are not going to want to create a plan so that the environment, the world reminds you to take action that's going to help you reach your goals. So let's walk through an example. Maybe your goal is to eat a more healthy diet. Now there are lots of different ways to do this but your general goal is to eat a healthy diet. So one specific action that will help you met that goal might be to eat a banana. Maybe you don't eat as much fruit as you want to or as you need to create or to meet your nutrition goals. And so eating a banana is one specific action that's going to help you to stay healthier and especially eating a banana instead of, you know, cake and cookies and pies and such. So step three then is thinking about when you will be able to take that action. Give me the answer to that is in the morning on the way to work. So maybe it's totally responsible for me to think that I would be able to eat a banana in my car as I drive to work and that's going to give me a chance to perform an action that will help me reach my goal. And then another thing that might help prompt action is the reminder that anytime I open the door to leave that should remind me to take a banana from the kitchen. Okay, so I have an identified time going to work in the morning when I will be able to take an identified action. Eating a banana that will help me reach my goal eating more healthfully. And I have a specific prompt in the environment, in my world, that's going to remind me to take this action. So here are implementation intentions. If I'm heading out the door and on the way to work, then I will grab a banana from the counter and eat it in the car. Okay, great. We started with a goal and now we have a very specific intention that we can implement concretely in a way I in which we don't have to remember necessarily to do it all the time, but we are identifying what's going to happen to remind us to do this good thing. Okay, let's take a look at another version of implementation intention. So one way to do this is like we just 
covered planning for actions that will help you reach your goals. But you can also use implementation intentions to plan for obstacles that might otherwise get in the way of you reaching your goals. And you can take a very similar process to accomplish this. So step one again is what is your goal? Step two, when are you likely to behave against your goal? Be honest with yourself. What are the times when you have the most trouble behaving in a way that's going to help you reach your long-term goals? Then identify what action you should take instead. I can't do this in advance, so you don't have to do it every time on the spot. And making the plan will make it easier to implement your strategy. So let's go back to this example. Your goal might be to eat a more healthy diet. And when are you likely to behave against your goal? Well, you know, after work, I'm tired and I crave a soda. I drink it and then I have already beaten my calorie limits for the evening. Okay, so this is a time when there is an obstacle. I'm craving a soda, I'm tired after work. This is the perfect opportunity for me to break my dieting goal. So step three then is to think of what action you should take instead. Well, maybe instead of having that soda that I want so bad, I will instead have a glass of water. And importantly, I'm planning this in at once. I'm not going to go back on it. I know now that I don't crave it right now. I'm telling my future self, hey, anytime you are craving soda after work, that's going to remind you that you really should be doing. It's drinking a glass of water and never reminds you of your bigger goal. So here, your implementation intention is if I'm feeling tired after work, then I will drink a bottle of water again. Clear, specific, and it identifies when you are going to take the action that helps you meet your goal by specifying what the action is and what will remind you to take it. And in this case, the reminder is something that otherwise would lead you to stray from your goal. So the point is to plan specific actions for the future that you are going to remember to take. Then my advice for you is to start with one or two. And as those become habits, you can start to incorporate more, but you don't want to sit down and listen of 12 different implementation intentions because you will never remember all of them. The point is to create a simple plan that will help you start on your path to meeting your actual goals effectively. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in my next video. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit the subscribe button before you go. If you have any questions, comment below, give me a like and just follow me to don't miss one of my videos on YouTube, Instagram and Facebook. To your success, your health and wealth mentor.